G'day, my name's Leonie and we're here with the bush babies today which is uh, a variety of uh, birds, reptiles and marsupials and we're going to have a look at some of the close-up stuff on the marsupials to start with. First of all, what is a marsupial? That's right, it's an animal with a pouch. There's Skippy, the kangaroo, he has a pouch. Here's somebody else who has a pouch. This is Chloe and she's a wombat. Now come and have a look at this. This is where her pouch is. If I put my finger inside her pouch, her pouch goes this way, which is not the usual way a pouch goes. Pouches normally go that way. Why do you think the wombat's pouch is back to front? That's right, because when it's digging a burrow, all the dirt would be going in towards the pouch when she's digging, you see? We don't want the baby to get all dirty, so the wombat's pouch faces the wrong way opens at the back so that the dirt can't go in. Now have a look at the wombat's bottom. This here is solid cartilage. I don't know if you can hear that. It's pretty solid. Cartilage is what our noses and our ears are made of. It's like rubbery bone. It's very solid and it helps her to protect herself from predators. So if she was being chased by a dingo, she would run straight to her burrow, but instead of going all the way down, she would leave her bottom out just enough to tempt the dingo to put his head in because he thinks he's got her trapped. He can put his head in over the top of her bottom. She flicks her bottom up really hard and fast and crushes his skull against the top of the burrow. Oh, that would hurt. And the wombat's got a little tail. I bet you didn't know that. Can you see right there? See that? Yeah. And this is her cloaca. All marsupials, birds and reptiles have a cloaca. The good old Aussie, Aussie saying used to be up your clacker. That's what it's referring to, up your cloaca. It's just been abbreviated a little bit. When a baby wombat's born, it's as big as a little jelly bean. It's only tiny and it develops inside the pouch rather than inside its mum's tummy like most animals. Maybe if you've got a brother or sister, a little baby, you remember it being inside mum's tummy. Well, wombats don't have a baby in their tummy. Oh, she's really heavy. The baby grows up in the pouch, so it'll be in the pouch for ages before it even grows any hair. And then once it's grown hair, it'll start putting its nose out a little bit, nibble on the grass. By about 10 months, it's out of the pouch. But it's still trying to put its nose back inside the pouch to suckle milk. And it stays really close to its mum so it doesn't get lost in the bush. Their eyesight's not very good because they're nocturnal. Their eyes see better in the dark, not very well in the daytime at all. They've only got little eyes, haven't they? Let's have a look at this animal here. It's also nocturnal and it lives in the bush. This one here is a brush tail possum. Can, oops, sorry, sorry Betty. I've upset her a bit. Can you see how big her eyes are? She can see really well in the dark, but she can't see very well in the daytime. This is her bed. So